Remember, we're going to start from the feet and work all the way up in terms of stretching our body. And we're going to go on both sides. So we're going to work the back side of our leg and the front side of our leg and keep working all the way up until we get to our shoulders and our neck. So first one we're going to do is a calf stretch. So the way we do that is Mickey puts a big pile of sand up against the pole and then she puts her toes against the pole and drives her heel down nice and deep grabs onto the pole, keeps her shoulders nice and straight, and pulls herself up into the pole. Puts a great stretch down here in your calf. So we worked the, the, our calf muscle and our Achilles a little bit. Now we want to work the front of our foot. The way we do this is we flatten out the sand right now, and we start as close to the pole. We start close to the pole, and we want to keep our heel on the ground. So. Now I'm going to move back a couple inches, see if I can keep my heel on the ground. Still can. And you keep moving back further and further until you get too far away that when you come up to the pole with your knee, you can't bend any further and your knee start, your heel starts coming off the ground. So then you scoot in a little bit because the goal is to keep your heel on the ground and get your knee up against the pole. Once we do that, once again we're going to stand up nice, tall and straight. We're going to push our back leg behind us, so we're stretching that out also, and hold that stretch. Now remember, during the stretches, we need to breathe out and in. In through the nose, out through the mouth, stay relaxed, don't hold your breath, keep the stretch, and then do it for both legs. Okay, so now we're going to, we've worked our, our calves and the front of our legs. Now we're going to start working the big jumping muscles, the quadriceps. So the way you're going to do that, we want to work balance into our stretches. Not just stretching, but also balance. So the, if you're learning how to do this, you might need to hold out onto someone to get their, their balance or hold onto the pole. You're going to pull your leg up, squeeze your knees together. Once you stand nice, tall and straight, then you can go down into a squat with the other leg and come back all the way up. And then you, once you get your balance, you can just do it all by yourself. It's a great balance, great stretch. And then you're going to do it for both legs. Ready. All right, we're going to show the same quad stretch just from a different angle so you see what, uh, what Andrea's doing. So standing up nice, tall, and straight. She's going to grab her foot, pull it back, squeeze the knees together, and keep your legs on the same plane and then she can do a couple little uh, mini squats with the other leg keep the body moving all right now we're going to start working on the uh, hamstrings and lower back and hips so we work from our started to work our ankles a little bit we've been working our calves and our shins we worked our uh, quadriceps now we're going to start to work the hamstring area so as you start with this one, you just lay flat on the ground, point your toes as far as you can. So pretend someone's pulling your toes that way, and then take your hands and pretend someone's pulling your hands that way. And pull them as far as you possibly can. And while you're doing that, when you're on the ground, you're gonna keep stretching one higher than the other. And so it's really gonna start stretching out your back, and you also feel it in your legs.